Hey guys, we are right now on the most beautiful beach in Santa Teresa, Playa Hermosa, and I've got a yin yoga class for you today. Now for those of you that have never done a yin yoga class, I got an intro to yin yoga video on this channel, so please go ahead and find that. If you've done yin yoga before, we're going to be holding each pose for two minutes. We're going to be focusing on releasing your hamstrings, opening your hips, and releasing the quadriceps. Now, really important about yin yoga is that you breathe. So in each posture, when we're holding for two minutes, I want you to really focus on deep breaths in and long exhales out to release any tension, to allow yourself to go deeper into each posture so you feel full benefits of yin yoga. So if you guys are ready, I want you to grab a mat, grab some water, and join me on the mat. All right, guys, so we're going to begin today in a seated position on your mat, starting with a big head roll to the right, and then another head roll to the left, letting go of any tension in the body, in the neck. Inhale now, coming up to the knees, reaching both arms up to the sky, hold it here, opening the chest and the heart and then slowly making your way all the way down to your mat into child's pose. Holding that position here and just breathing. Letting go of any tension in your back. Come on up to your knees one more time. Inhale, reach. Open the chest and the heart. Exhale, coming down to child's pose one more time. Slowly from here, rolling over to your all fours position. Taking a second, then tuck your toes. And then slowly come on up into your downward facing dog. Take a moment here to really feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Opening the chest and the heart. Inhale. Exhale, walk out your downward dog. Pressing each heel a little closer to the floor. Awesome, one more time, deep breath in. Exhale, pressing both heels down, rounding through each vertebra of your spine into plank, shoulders over your wrist, hold, and then lift the hips back up, downward facing dog. And again, rounding forward, and downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to flow it out, come forward into plank, inhale, exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in, look forward, exhale, come forward to the top of the mat. We're going to take our standing forward fold. Now before we go deeper into the fold, just take a couple rocks side to side, letting go of any tension. And then from here, beginner's version will be to hold the back of the knees. A little more advanced is hold the ankle. And if you'd like to take it even further, go ahead, take your big toes. And then wherever you are, just go ahead and bring that forehead down to the knees. Beautiful, and just take a deep breath in here feeling that lengthening sensation in the hamstrings. Letting go, bending the knees and slowly rolling up to standing. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, take a dive all the way to the floor. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping your left foot back. High lunge, just take a second here and breathe. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly extending the front knee, allowing the forehead to release to the knee. Inhale, come back to lunge. Exhale, extend it back, forehead to knee. Holding this position and breathing. 
coming back to your lunge and then slowly stepping back to plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Just take a second here and breathe. Walk it out again if that feels good to you. And then let's prepare to the other side. Go ahead, stepping forward to the top of the mat. Going a little deeper into our forward fold. If you held your toes, go ahead and bring the palms under your feet. Otherwise, continue to hold on to your ankles or your knees. Letting it go and rounding up to standing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping the right foot back. High lunge. Take a second to hold. And then slowly extending the front knee, forehead to knee, feeling that stretch in the hamstring. Inhale, come forward again. Exhale, extend, forehead to knee. Inhale, back to your lunge. Step back to plank, chaturanga. Upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding and then walking your hands over to the feet to the back of the mat. Rounding up, inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, stepping forward with your right foot and then turn so you're lengthwise on the mat and taking your wide-legged forward fold. Reaching for those ankles, allowing the forehead to come down as close to the mat as possible. And then from here, we're going to transition to our first yin posture, which is going to be your frog. You're going to open the knees nice and wide. Make sure the knees and the hips are aligned. And then slowly from here, make your way down to your elbows, keeping your feet flexed and knees bent at 90 degrees. Just taking a moment here and truly bringing your awareness to your breath. You're going to feel a deep stretch in your hips, in your inner thighs. So just breathe through this. You want to make sure that the hips are not too forward or too far back. We want them right over top of the mat aligned with your thighs and your knees. Taking a deep breath into your nose, feel the coolness of the air coming in, and a slow exhale out, feeling the warmth coming out. Paying attention to your breath, as you let go of your body deeper and deeper into this posture, beginning to feel all the wonderful benefits this posture may give you. This is quite an advanced yin posture, so don't worry if you can't go all the way down into a split. It's not about how low you go with your hips. It's about the benefit that you get from this posture allowing your hips to open, your inner thighs to release. Staying with your breath here. Beautiful job, let's come out. Now to come out, we're gonna come back to our wide-legged forward fold, so bring the knees together slightly. Come on up to your mat. Open the legs, come on down. Take a deep breath in. Go ahead, reach those ankles again, see if you can go a little deeper into the stretch. And then slowly round up, inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn the right toes and step forward, top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping back to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. At this time, right leg is going to reach up to the sky. Hold it there for a second. 
and then bring the right knee to your right thumb into our pigeon and slowly come on down to your elbows great stretch for the glute holding this position for two minutes again bring your awareness to your breath making sure your back leg is exactly in the middle of the mat Breathe in, exhale, let it go. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Feeling a nice release through the right side. trying your very best to keep your hips square. Now, if this is too much for you, or you're having trouble keeping your body up, you may place a prop like a pillow or a block underneath your right hip to give you a little bit more support if you need to. Stay present in your mind. Simply focusing on the breathing, inhaling into your nose, slowly exhaling through your mouth, surrendering to the ground underneath you. Let it go. Beautiful job, you guys. Come on up slowly. Now what we're gonna do here is shift your weight to that right hip, swing the left leg around, and going into our next yin posture, which is your log position, you're gonna try to push that left knee all the way down. So creating a straight line with your shins. Now don't worry, if you can't go all the way down, you can just stay upright and push the knee down. But if you feel comfortable here, go ahead, reach the arms forward. Another wonderful stretch for the glutes, for the piriformis muscle. Reach the arms forward, or if you're upright, simply continue to push that left knee down. Accept the position that you're in. Do not force it, do not push it. Your body will let go eventually. Just be patient with yourself and simply focus on your breathing. Do not worry of what you look like. Focus on how you feel. If you're starting to feel a little bit of a release in the body, go a little further. Reach a little bit more or push that left knee a little bit further down. Stay with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly come on up. Beautiful job. And then we're going to go right into our seated spinal twist. So you're going to take that top leg and simply plant your foot on the floor. Go ahead and twist to your left. Looking over your left shoulder here. Come on down, 
Swinging that left leg back, we're just going to transition back into that downward facing dog. Pushing both heels down as far as you can, really feel that stretch. Inhale, exhale, left leg reaches up, bending the knee. And then taking our pigeon pose on the other side, left knee to your left thumb, hips are square. And then come on down to your elbows, releasing the body. Two minutes here, feeling that release through the left glute. Remember you guys, you can always use a prop if you need it, like a pillow, a book, or a yoga block, and place it underneath the left hip. Staying present with your breath, Letting go of any tension into the ground. With each exhale, pay attention how your body lets go. Give it permission to release, to let go of all that no longer serves you. Pay attention to how your body is feeling here. If you do begin to feel a release, challenge yourself by going a little bit deeper. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Stay here, let yourself release a little bit deeper. We're almost done. Inhale, exhale, you're ready to release. Come on up. Shift your weight to the left hip. Swing that right leg around. Let's take our log posture. So that right knee, you can just simply push it down. Now again, stay here if that's where you are. If not, if you want to go further, let the knee release and reach the arms forward. Inhale. And exhale, continue to reach. Forcing your body, your chest to let go into the mat. Deep breath in and exhale. Simply let go of anything that is holding you back. Using yin postures is a great way to practice our meditative state. So as you hold this position, Try to stay in the present moment, simply being aware of the breath coming in and letting go. In and let it go. See how far you can reach See how far you can push that knee down, opening the hips, releasing any tension in the glutes in your piriformis. Beautiful job, you guys. It's time to release. 
slowly come on up. You're going to take that right knee and just ground the right foot. Hug the knee with your left elbow and then take your seated spinal twist. Looking over your right shoulder, lengthening through the spine. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Come back to center, extending the right leg, swing it back and then push into your downward facing dog. Coming forward to plank, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, hold, exhale, downward facing dog. Just take a second to breathe. Come on down to your knees now, and we are ready for our next yin posture. Opening the knees slightly so your hips can come down onto your mat. What we're gonna do here is come down to the floor. So some of you may just stay up like you were in the beginning. Others may come down to your elbows. Or if you're feeling a little more open in the quads, then you can come all the way to the floor and grab your elbows over your head. Wherever you are in this position, I want you to listen to your body. If going down to your elbows is too hard, don't push it. Stay up on your hands and just focus on releasing those quads. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. If at any point you guys feel any sort of pain in your knees, please come up. Either come back to seated position or if your both knees can take it, you can try it one knee at a time. Really take this time to focus on the breath. Bring oxygen into your body, into your muscles. And then let that tension release out of your body with your exhale. Feeling a gentle stretch in the quadriceps. Lengthening the body. Giving your body the deep stretch that it needs. Filling your lungs with oxygen as you inhale. Big, long exhale out. And at this time, slowly, let's release. Come on up to your hands to seat it. Take your time here, don't rush. And then whenever you're ready, just come back into that downward facing dog. Shaking out one leg at a time, just letting go of any tension you may feel in your feet or your calves. Beautiful. Come on down to your knees and let's sit back into child's pose one more time. Reaching the arms forward, take a deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Continuing to reach the arms forward so you feel a gentle stretch in the shoulders and the back. And just allow yourself to stay here present in the moment. Coming up to seated, arms up on your inhale, exhale, hands to your heart. One more time, big reach with the arms up, palms together and down to your heart. One last time, inhale, exhale, come forward, leaving your hands at your third eye and bowing down to yourself, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this yin practice. And I hope you have the most amazing rest of your day. Namaste. Lots of love. See you soon.